So in today's video, I'm going to be working on a Yamaha R300 stereo receiver. I've worked on one of these units before, so I'm a little bit familiar with it. My problem is when I use the FM mode uh, and tune it to a station, only one of these LEDs is lit here. Basically, there's actually two of them, but you can only see one now because the other one's not lit. This is kind of like the equivalent of an old school center tuning meter you know like if you were tuned in if you imagine this screwdriver now is the pointer the needle and when you're tuned in it's exactly in the middle what we're going to do here is adjust what's called the um, in the service manual which I managed to download they didn't have the alignment instructions but I have a block diagram and another picture showing where all the adjustments are this is called the FM um, discriminator balance if you do have a unit like this um, so I'm going to be using that and see here I'm tuned into a channel right here but it's not right so let me go ahead and focus in a little bit more on the exact adjustment this is right back here it's called this little can here I'm going to be adjusting this is the in the IF section um, see it it's got a mark on there that mark I made that mark because um, that way I know, I know where my original position was or what's happened before like I stopped working on a unit for days or could have even been weeks and uh, who knows exactly where you started out at right and this is a has a little slot in there so I use a non-metallic um, screwdriver which of course I got off of eBay and which came from China of course you could use a metallic screwdriver too but you'd have to like uh, take it out every time and then go ahead and uh, look at your uh, look at the difference you made when you did the adjustments kind of like a um, hassle so I'm gonna go ahead and make the adjustment now if, now I'll set the camera up so we can see the LED and see what's happening there and hopefully um, this is going to take care of the um, problem if not uh, which is, would really suck then I have a problem with the component somewhere so also I just noticed this here that popping there um, that of course could be oh, tied into that problem too at any rate I'm going to go ahead and make the adjustment now and we'll see if the other light comes on I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the volume alone just for copyright reasons I don't think you can play something very long okay making the adjustment I just turn a real little bit at a time because sometimes a real little turn makes a real big difference um, here we go hmm nothing Oh, okay, I see something down there. So, see what happens if I go too far. Then you'll see the LED that was on now going out. And the one that was out going on. But what we want is actually when we're tuned into a station, we want both on. And so I'm adjusting now both for maximum brightness which means we are balanced then so like that um, I don't know if I can focus in more really can't see the LED let me get closer so this now is a close-up of what I was um, talking about now the LEDs can be seen much much better And as far as uh, the sound is concerned, let me just turn it up real quick again. Notice that that popping sound I had earlier is gone too, thank God. So, looks like that problem has been taken care of. And as a last note here, um, I ended up having to 
turn the adjustment between looks like an eighth and almost a quarter so it was a quite a ways which I don't know what happened there whether somebody had played with this before this is of course a second hand uh, receiver at any rate the problem is fixed now um, thanks for watching